empty basket. All right, and they're like, ooh, the container store. Just because it's so fun to walk through it. An Apple gift card. In this video, we are going to declutter a big cabinet in our kitchen that is my husband's junk cabinet. We are going to reorganize some of our pantry items into it to better utilize the space we have in our kitchen. We are going to declutter a bunch of stuff to the trash and then put some stuff back in the rest of the house. And we're going to take you on a little kitchen reorganization today. Welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas. I am the Minimalist Minimalist and I share videos that amplify the benefits of minimalist living. Are you organizing as you're taking out? No. No, okay. I'm just taking it out right now. Some of this is not mine. Oh, that's mine. Hey, I almost bought more of those. I'm so glad we're doing this today because I ran out. I'm sure I do have a few Receipts, things in here. USB drives, things that are trash because we don't know what they are. An Apple gift card. some triple A's. Okay. One shelf. Cleared. Do we go through this stuff now or do we keep emptying? Probably keep emptying, right? I would say keep emptying, but it's your closet. Well, cabinet. <gasps> How about those? My mom made those. Clear. Yeah. Well, here, let me do this. Skittles, anyone? They're open. So maybe we should just pick out trash first. I can see the skittles. I'm not going to save old stale Skittles. I don't want to store these outside because of the weather, right? But maybe that's a nice thing for up here because yeah. you really, you take a roll, you clean the yard. If we have a, a like a small container to okay. put them in. Okay. Yeah. So those are kind of like kitchen remaining yep. that have to find a home. I mean, we have space up here. I could put them up here. Okay. I'll do it right now. Oh yeah, I can't reach up there. Yeah, this is this is a utility cabinet for me. Too. Anything that you can't use is really utility for me. His top shelf kitchen. Top shelf kitchen is all yours. My citronella candle containers. Can we talk about that for a minute though? Like, why we're here? What if they weren't stored in the kitchen? Okay, we can do this cabinet too. Okay. When we're done. It's valuable this. space. Maybe you could um, take an Amazon box and store your citronella project in an Amazon box. Maybe. In the garage. This is yours. That, what is it? Is that a it's hot glue gun? It's a hot glue gun? gun, yes. That's mine? Yes. Oh. I'm going to keep it with the tools in the garage. I don't use it. Okay. Then it's going to go into the garage. What's your process here? I'm just kind of somewhat organizing things here. I don't know. Is this... I think these are parts to Jack's drum set. Okay. This is for tightening the drum heads. This is, I don't know what it is. So it's trash. So is I'm this stuff stuff. that you've decided we you're keeping, but we need to figure out where it goes? Yes. This is a tool for the garage. <gasps> don't tell anybody. Tape is a commodity in our house. Yeah, it is. So hide it. Thank you to Caraway for sponsoring this video. Caraway makes well-designed, safe-to-use, ceramic-coated cookware. Our first impressions after opening the box were the color, 
the weight and the quality of these pots and pans. The pan organizers that it comes with are magnetic and fit each pan to improve how you store your pots and pans. You get more space in your cabinet. We immediately noticed how, when we started using them, how a lower heat is needed to cook and that the 100% non-toxic ceramic surface is easy to clean. Our cookware set came with a saucepan, a saute pan, a fry pan, a Dutch oven, all with lids, plus a lid holder, four magnetic pan racks, two trivets, and two hooks. You can get 10% off your set. This offer is limited to the next two weeks to get 10% off your cookware set. So click the link in the description box below and thank you to Caraway for sponsoring this video and for sending us pans. Is that Jack? Mommy. That's Mommy. Ranger. That's, oh, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, Brandon. Rebecca. Rebecca. And Brandon, you. Oh. Look, they're holding hands. Brandon and Daddy are holding hands. That was a nice project, Jackson. Mm, thank you. Very cute, buddy. Hooks. Mm -hmm. Command strip hooks. We need a command strip hooks. I don't know if this is actually so solid to check. Thing. Okay. Put these on the other counter for me. There you go. Trash, please. This goes in the trash. Everything on the corner here is for the trash, okay? okay. It needs to be shredded. This is the extra alpaca yarn for your gloves that Ranger ate. Here, Jack, this is trash. This is some rope that'll go out into the garage. This is, these are extra parts for Rebecca's balance beam. Oh, So when, okay. we, when we elevate it, it yeah. we can put it on the feet. Basement, right? Yes. Some more furniture pads. It's probably about time to change them out on the couch. This is uh, a box with only two uh, furniture feet protectors. So I will get rid of the box and save the last two protectors. This is a growler filler tube, goes with beer. The instruction manual to one of the kids' bicycles. Don't need to save that. This is the composting wheel that tells us how to compost. Right now we're just winging it, so maybe we should pay attention to that. Pocket knife, or a good knife. I like to keep it handy. And out of the kids reach, so that'll be something that goes into my section of the, that goes into my set. Oh yeah, the compost wheel. That's kind of cool. We should read this. Mm -hmm. Some more hook hang stuff, 3M command strip hook stuff. There's a bag here for those somewhere. Here it is. <clears throat> I will add it to the bag of hooks. Here's a bag that I haven't really been looking forward to getting into, but it, it, it's not all batteries. It's mostly batteries. So batteries will go back into it until we have a better way to store batteries. That was you for something. You have an idea? No. So I think this was a spacer that was in the packaging for batteries. So that's trash. Here's another hook to go in the hook bag. Shoe box for batteries. Battery box. There we go. Great. This is my kid's shoes that he just got. Now we have a battery box. Great, better than this thinking battery bag that we've been using. And, but I don't get to go to the container store and buy bins. <laughs> Figured that you liked it when we were walk, we walked by and you're like, ooh, the container store. Just because it's so fun to walk through it. But if I go in there, I buy without purpose. But if I'm like, I really need a container for batteries then I'm looking for the right container. But I don't know why we don't just keep this bag. There's nothing wrong with it. Or this bag. The lone nine volts. I think, no, there's nine volts out here somewhere. Here they are. Battery box, all right. Show show everybody the battery box. Wait, can I label it? I love when I can. While she's doing that, this is a. It's like music. This is a project of mine. We have a lot of under cabinet uh, light fixtures. I think there's like something like 20 actual light bulbs in there. With, if I'm <laughs> counting right now, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, maybe seven that work. So this is one of the burnt out ones that I can use as a reference. This is what I use to tie my hair up. Um, it, <laughs> it's, uh, it's summertime, so I'm about to cut my hair short, so I won't be able to use it. I'm just gonna use it right now. Here is a uh, track pad, track ball for the computer, so I'll go with the computer stuff. Basement. Yep. Your okay. basement oh, pile is here. Your basement pile is here. Here are some shoelaces. Uh, I don't really have a need for them. Do you want? Do you need no. them? No. Okay. These are shelf pins mm -hmm. for furniture we don't have anymore. And we have here a hard drive, external hard drive, for the basement. So I'll, that'll be part of my hard drive consolidation project. Mm -hmm. uh, here is some euros. So next time we travel to Europe, we can take them. I don't want to throw away money. So I guess we just, I have a couple a couple of those other dollars downstairs. So at some point, we'll, one of us will go to the bank. I think it's Kindle. cool for the kids to look at too. <clears throat> oh my an stars. old Kindle with an empty battery. I kind of like to use it, but I probably won't. So it comes with this nice case, everything. So do you want to just donate it? Yeah. Do we have the charger for it? No. Oh, you know what we can do with it? I know exactly what we'll do with it. In the unpack and declutter video that we did last week, people comment, lots of comments, to not throw out the bag of cords and the electronics, to take them to Staples or to Best Buy, and they'll recycle them. Oh, cool. So yeah, that's a great idea. In that in that pile, and we'll mm -hmm. take it over to Staples and Best Buy. Yep. Well, let's. So this is a weird cord. No idea what this goes to. And if I don't know what it goes to, I don't need to use it. Uh, it probably went to something that we got rid of, so that can also go uh, for recycling. Okay. More hard drives for the hard drive product wow. project. That is a lot of hard drives. These are old uh, laptop drives that were probably in a raid array, so I probably can't even read them, but we'll see. Okay. They may go in the... Uh, Best Buy recycle bin. Yeah. Recycle pile, yeah. Um, here are some, here's some Bahraini money. More hooks for the hook bag. Some safety plug, plug wall plug inserts for the safety bag. Here's a penny made entirely of plastic. So it's not real, it's trash. I don't know where that came from. Probably some game. Here, I'll drop it in with the rest of the change. You'll hear the difference. Oh, it sounded the same. Never mind. Empty basket. Empty countertop and empty cabinets. That's it. The battery box. And I still did not find the cabinet latch magnets. Here is what Andy has chosen to keep that we need to figure out. Shred. Trash. Recycle at Staples or Best Buy. My stuff that will go back in the cabinet up at the top shelf. Okay. I, I always put that So there. kitchen keep is what we're doing right now. I think what so, What you yeah. want to keep yeah. in the kitchen. These, there's room for these up here with the other beer glasses. Um, so what about flashlights? Do you keep flashlights in here? I would like to, yeah. Lighters, safety stuff. Some, some furniture straps in here, the screws that go with it to mount it, and the plug protectors. So all kinds of household safety stuff yep. is what went in here. Yep. That does not have to stay in the kitchen. No. That could um, be garage. Let's make yeah. a garage keep pile and then we can take it all out at once. Great, garage keep pile. And we, you can, when you, when you go to the container store, if you get a small container to replace this, that'd be even better. Okay. A little, yeah. plastic, a little plastic container. Yeah. So just put an old, or not old, but dog bags to clean up the yard in an old shoe box. And I would say that could be kitchen only because you need it accessible to get to the backyard right yeah. here. I like to put the compost wheel. If you put it back in the cabinet, I'm not gonna read it. I'll put it on my desk and study it.
I'll make a Pinewood Derby uh, container for the garage. Yeah, because you're going to want that for next year for Jack and Brennan. Yes. So you need a little Pinewood Derby container store. I have a container for you out there. Oh, darn. Batteries. You know what? Actually, the ones that are the best, you know that Play-Doh bin that's right over here? You know that bin? They were $5 at Walmart. They are, I know, they're so good. They're my go-to container. Well, I have like the small shoe bin size ones that you used to put your shoes in. Mm -hmm. We have a thousand of those because you used to have all those shoes and you would put each pair of oh, shoes in a container. Oh we still gosh. have a bunch of those. That's perfect for the Pinewood Derby stuff. I used to take a picture of each one of my shoes mm -hmm. and put it on the outside. Yes. Do you have a little piece of paper that I can make a note on? I'm sure I have posted somewhere. Andy's writing a note what that light bulb is for the kitchen, and then he's gonna put it in a bag in the bin upstairs that's marked light bulb in the laundry room. So all light bulbs are in one spot. Okay, so here is where we ended up. This is all stuff that has to go elsewhere in the house. Upstairs, basement, garage, basement, Andy office. That right there, the coins. I have this in my purse for quarters for a vending machine. So I'm gonna have the kids pick out the quarters and then take all the rest of the coins over to Coinstar at the grocery store. Trash. Mm -hmm. Not including the stuff that went directly to the trash can. Oh, yeah. Couple of things Andy took from this top shelf, which I can't reach, whatever. And then we're gonna put baking here. That'll clear up a lot of stuff in our- Let's wipe it out and picture. put baking. the rag back it works <laughs> why don't you hand that to Rebecca we okay. shall see well these aren't great and then more no Ooh. chocolate mm. I really hope you don't drop that okay I won't. Ben face Ben face how do we do? Oh, I guess Becca, are you done? Stop. Mm hmm So now we kind of did like a pasta shelf and then a bread shelf, which cleared up space here. Mom. Yes. No. The ducks are in the pool, everybody. There's the duckies. They come back third year. They're probably the same ducks. Of course they are. Your mom said ducks return to okay. the same place each year. So I have sugar, miscellaneous, and some yeast to make bread, bread flour, chocolate chips, with extra chocolate chips stored behind it, and then my flour. How do you feel? I feel like we've reclaimed a ton of space. I haven't even looked in that cabinet yet since you put the baking in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. This is, this is actually what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking specifically baking, but I was thinking I would reclaim the top shelf, give the bottom two to you, to make a little bit of space in our pantry. Thank you for watching. Would love for you to subscribe and join our family here online. And here's another video.